peace, infinite waters diving deep once again. We're out here in nature. It's beautiful. This is sexology. Water, fire, hot, cold, yin, yang. I received a great question, so I'm going to read it. Someone said, amazing question. What do you do in a relationship you feel you have personally outgrown and the other person refuses to let go like they are more attached to you more than you could have ever known? What is the best, most compassionate way to exit the relationship? When the person is not really ready to let go. How does one deal with the guilt of leaving? When we talk of feminine, masculine, yin and yang essence, we have to realize that the true marriage begins when we fuse these two energies within ourselves. Therefore, we have to never allow someone else to give us value. We have to remember not to be dependent on other people for our happiness. When we talk of how to deal with emotionally draining relationships, toxic relationships, even though the love energy may be there, I am just not that into you. We have to remember that we attract what we are. Everything in the universe is based on the law of resonance. Many people do not feel they deserve to be with that person they are with, but why are they still with them? Because there are still lessons to learn. That person you are with, for them, you are serving a purpose because they find you amazing. However, you don't feel the same. However, they are also serving a purpose to you. An example, some women say, I am not attracted to my partner any longer, but I'm still with him because I feel I have to. So, they are serving a purpose for you. You have to ask yourself, do I deserve better? Am I worthy for a relationship where there is resonance? Because whenever you have one person in a relationship doing all the work, it can become a nightmare. In essence, there is an imbalance on the scales. We have to remember that when you talk of when people are clinging to us, you have to express yourself. Communication is the key. A lot of the times, we get lost in translation. People misinterpret our actions. Therefore, we have to be direct. Love is direct. It's not about playing games and pleasing people. Many people that don't want to hurt other people's feelings in relationships actually only do them a disservice. Because once you open your heart, you can tell the person how you really feel and if they accept it, they appreciate you. If they don't accept it, then at least you know who you are dealing with. Express yourself 100%. This will help you love yourself 100%. The more you suppress, the more you depress yourself. Suppression is depression. So let it all out. Free yourself. Be happy. <laughs> Life is happening right now. 
life does not wait for nobody. Therefore, if you are not happy where you are, you hold the power to change it. In sexuality, there are levels of attraction. Therefore, we may be attracted to someone on one level, but not attracted to them on another level. We may be attracted to their smile, their appearance. However, we may not be attracted to something that they do that may get on our nerves. We have to be clear about this and ask ourselves, what are we attracted to? The more that we can delve deeper, the more we can free ourselves. Because many people say, I just want to be nice all the time to people. It's amazing to be nice. However, it's more amazing to be yourself. Once you can be yourself, you tap into your authenticity. And that is what is needed in relationships. In relationships, people are mirroring back things to us. So if you can't leave a relationship, if you are feeling guilty, it is because this person has come into your life to help you evolve to a higher level. So this is your challenge and your test to place yourself where you desire. Relationships are all about give and take. Relationships are all about trust. Relationships are all about being honest. Once you realize the secret in relationships that no one is making us do anything, no one is making us stay in the relationship, we are choosing to stay in the relationship. In essence, the power lies within us. Therefore, you don't blame that person because when you are in a relationship, when you feel you have to be there, you end up resenting that person. Resentment grows. When you realize you are a co-creator, you are a free spirit and you choose where you want to be, then that animosity towards that other person diminishes. The animosity disappears because now you see you are holding this relationship together. We have to remember that when we talk of letting go of guilt, free yourself from guilt. Remember that it's not our job to babysit other people. You cannot force love. Many of us are attempting to force a relationship to make it work. Whenever there is a struggle in love, the love cannot be complete. Because love, in its highest form, is effortless. That is it. Remember to love yourself 100%. Once you love yourself, you will see that you are worthy to have the best. We're out here, in nature. This is the love season. Infinite waters, diving deep once again. Stay well, stay healthy. Peace.